Time now for a check of your weather. Meteorologist Tony Sadika with the first alert forecast. Hey guys, uh, good, you know, everything as we've been watching it throughout the morning, big picture has been essentially going according to plan. We knew the biggest snowfall totals would be north and west of the city. Across the city, it's been a little bit of a disappointment for snow lovers. It's been messy in terms of the rain, the snow, the mix, all that sort of thing, but not really anything plowable. The view right now does show some low clouds out there, some visibility issues. Watch out for some areas of that as you're out and about. Don't see too much traffic uh, for folks making their way out there. It's 37 with a little bit of that mist drizzle to northeast wind that'll stick around. We're still under a red alert until about noon. That's because even though the system is pulling away at this point, we still have enough moisture for some lingering rain and snow. The snow could, it's not impossible to get some snow to at least approach the city. We'll be watching for that. And also, you know, don't want all this to overshadow what we're thinking Tuesday is going to look like, which at this point is still looking like a mess. Here's radar satellite big picture low right offshore. We're still getting an east breeze once the low base basically passes north of our latitude, we're going to start to drag in some of that northerly wind, which we think may be enough to kind of push back to the coast some of that milder air, which has been kind of keeping that rain snow line north of the city. It's, that's why we think it's not impossible that this might try to end as some snowflakes by, you know, this mid morning to late morning. At the moment, you see near and around Stamford, you've got some snow falling. It's really more to the north of you as you make your way into like northern Westchester and up into like places like uh, Putnam Rockland's dealing with some light snow. But it's adding to, you know, the measurable snow that we've already had. That's why those winter weather advisories are still posted there. That extends to the south as well. Future cast will map out what we're thinking the rest of the morning. This is what I mean. See how those wind arrows are starting to show north? That low moves to the north, and we could get a little bit of that wraparound snow to push towards the coast. And it's not possible, you know, 11 o'clock, you got some flakes flying around the city, but it's going to be so brief that we don't anticipate big accumulations. Clouds sticking around, then breaking up overnight. Tomorrow's a bright day. It's chilly, that north wind, but those winds will start to shift out of the south heading into Tuesday. So what comes on Tuesday is going to be mostly a rain event based start a snow for the Catskills, then it's going to be a long duration of moderate to heavy rain that's going to accumulate maybe two, three inches possible. This might create a problem, we think, especially on snow covered ground as that tries to melt north and west of the city. That's why Weather Prediction Center highlighting us in that moderate risk. Keep in mind, the last time we had big flooding in North Jersey, it was a slight risk, so we think a decent chance for that heading Tuesday into Wednesday. A little break Thursday, Friday could be another wet start to the weekend. And I know John's been kind of keeping an eye on the forecast too for Tuesday, Wednesday. You're in an area that gets a lot is getting a lot of snow, and the concern for potentially river flooding in uh, the, kind of that neighborhood out in uh, yeah. Morris County. Well, I got to tell you, you had to connect all the dots and we, we would be remiss if we did not alert people to the big threat Tuesday faces. I just want to bring Vince over here real quickly. Look at this guy. This is a little Bobcat front loader. So, I mean, you need the heavy gear. This stuff is so heavy. So he's got to get as close as he can to the curb to get the bank ready. They've done a great job with the uh, parking lot here. And as you can see, I mean, we'll show you in just a second. It is still snowing. The lights are shining bright here at the uh, Jefferson Diner and uh, we're ready for business at 7 o'clock. I'm going to do the old light trick with Vince to show you snowfall rates have actually, there's just enough cold air in place where now it's all flake from top to bottom in the atmosphere and you can actually see it here which was black and now there's just this little coating coming on board. So with all due respect to Doug Williams and Shosh and Zania, Nobody's got a snowman yet. Look at this guy. He is ready to go. He's got obviously got the, the, the right gear on, and the last thing a snowman wants to see is sun. So we're ready. We're ready for breakfast, and we're ready for more snow here in western Morris County at the Jefferson Diner. Right now, though, we'll uh, toss things back to you. 
Well done, John. You're the first to build the snowman yes. on this Sunday morning. Love it. You know, I'm a little bit kind of a small guy. Yeah. Well, yeah. Find a friend, he'll make one. Yeah. Exactly. He didn't have a whole lot of time, but with the time that he had, he put it to good use. Thank you, Johnny.